So a man comes to the Yerebbe from Israeli bonds. Israeli bonds are a way of raising money for, to support Eretz Yisrael. Now the financial condition of Eretz Yisrael today is Shalei Be'erech. It's a whole different circumstance to the financial condition of Eretz Yisrael 30 years ago. Eretz Yisrael is not bad financially. I mean, listen, having a war where half of your population is not going to work does affect the economy, but the Tzodik economy is a much stronger economy now than it was then. It's not even close. It was a very depressed time. And he comes to the Rebbe. Listen, listen. He comes to the Rebbe. And he says that I represent Israeli bonds in America or in New York. What tactic should I use to get more people to invest in Israel? Because people were afraid to invest. People were afraid to invest. They thought they'd lose their money, push it. And may I get your advice? We're having problems getting some of the Jews to invest in dollars in Israel because they think that uh, with, with what we're doing with bonds, with the, uh, the Russians coming in, they don't want to make their money in. So I'd like a plus in your advice if I can on how I get Jews to invest in dollars. So Deborah looks at this man and he says, You should say that the best investment in the world financially is in Eretz Sisro. You should, you should, your campaign should be the safest investment of dollars in the world is in Israel. And then the Rebbe tells him these words, I give you a blessing to go in this direction. I think that the Eretz Yisrael is one of the surest places in the, in the, in the, on the globe. And that means that everyone who is depositing his Nechosim is the money in the Sisro, that is the surest bank that exists in, the, in, our, in our time. Oh, yeah. And God Almighty to bless you to go on this line and to have much, much key, much investors and to use the money, to invest the money in the Sisro in the proper manner. And God Almighty to bless you. Thank you very much. You know what that means? <laughs> I give you a bracha that you should trust me. Because the guy who was selling Israeli bonds didn't believe it himself. He knows what kind of investment Israel is 30 years ago. And the Rebbe says, your position should be the best place to invest your money in Israel. And I, it's on you. If you'll believe it, people will believe it. If you'll sell it, people will buy it. But if you don't believe it yourself, and you, so the Rebbe tells him two things. Number one, you, the approach to selling Israeli bonds should be the best investment in the world is Israel. Number two, I give you a bracha, you should actually do what I'm telling you. So the Rebbe said, the safest place in the world is Israel. And he gives us a bracha that we should believe him.